ECL, I'm standing by. Two minutes out, I'm going to give him a go. We have it in work. FCO, NTDO 212, come check. In October, when a New York Times journalist asked Elon Musk, if you had to put all your money into one thing, what would it be? He said, the colonization of Mars. Recently, in an interview, Richard Branson told CBS News, I'm determined to be a part of starting a population on Mars. Go, go, prop. Go. GMC, go. So ever since Evie was little, she struggled with conventional learning techniques. I remember there being very rigid rules and kind of, um, you must answer this question this way, otherwise it's wrong. Like there wasn't very much room for creativity or um, new ideas, new ways of thinking. My story editing team came up with an idea we did some guest lecturing at La Mesa Elementary up in up in a really rough part of town and it's probably the one of the biggest elementary schools in the state and um, what I learned from Eva Vasquez who was the teacher uh, third grade teacher is that many of these kids are high risk they come from very rough domestic lifestyles and, and it's a it's a it hinders the learning process so our team came up with an idea for a project-based learning uh, assignment and it it worked great we found ourselves being thrown into this this domain and and really experiencing the power of PBL when I joined the foundation uh, back in 2011 at Max, the, they were graduating 90% going on to art school, med school, um, law school, and a lot of these kids are uh, going on scholarships. And um, we got very excited about it. And my daughter, now 21, um, we put our heads together. In my childhood, there was like this crucial point of like um, exploration. The chairs are uncomfortable, you're put in rows, looking up to a teacher, it's like there's no form of community. We said, let's see if we can build a project-based learning app. So we went back to the principal at Max and said, would you get behind this? And she endorsed it and said that it would bring a, a, a real world technology to the curriculum at her school. Bring this technology into the spotlight. And that just built momentum for us. And then we went to the principal at Data, and which is the, the school that uh, the Digital Arts and Technology Academy that Evie graduated from. And at Data, the principal brought in her math department, she brought in her robotics department, and said, we, we would like to get behind this as well and we'll provide our faculty and our students and uh, and make this happen. As part of AGDG, a founding member of AGDG, the Albuquerque Game Developers Guild, we started working with these really sophisticated game developers and we basically put together 
a system, a virtual rendition of project-based learning. We're, we're in it, we're in a hotbed of media activity here. We've got, um, in Albuquerque, we had eight TV series that were shot last year, and we had uh, 20 movies that were shot last year. And um, so we've got all this creativity, all this art, all this um, creative energy, and we just thought, well, why don't we focus it on memory fire? And why don't we bring it all and, 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 and focus on this emerging technology, making project-based learning a possibility? Here's the rub. It's gonna be four years for another mission to reach me. And I'm gonna have designed the last 31 days. So I gotta make water and grow food on a planet where nothing grows. But if I can't figure out a way to make contact with NASA, then none of this matters anyway. We've got an incoming message. Mein Gott. <laughs> Mark Watney is still alive. Woo! In your face, Neil Armstrong. There must be some kind of way out of here. Okay, so let's do the math. But I'm still alive. Surprise! <laughs>